There are lots of different place value questions. One example of them is this one here, which says, what is the value of the three in the number 305? What you need to do is you need to listen out for um, the actual value as you say the number. In this case, we can see that it is 305. You can actually hear the value of it as you say the number. The three is actually worth 300. This is a very similar type of question. It says in which of these numbers is the two worth two tens? Again, if you read through the numbers, you should be able to hear the value that you are looking for. In this case, it says is the two worth two tens. So two tens we know as 20. So we're listening out for the 20. The first number says 402. So there are no 20s in that one. And you can double check if you look at the tens column where you would find the two, there is nothing in there. The next number says 201. Again, you can't hear it, and if we look at the tens column, there is nothing in there, or at least not the correct number that we require. And in the final one, 124. Yes, you hear the 20, and then it's also confirmed as there in the tens column is the 20. In this question, it says 278 equals or is the same as 200 plus blank plus 8. There are two ways that you can work this one out. You can use your uh, place value system. If you understand that this number is 278, you can see that on this side you already have the 200 and you already have the 8, so therefore the missing number must be the 70. Another way of working it out is this, you can use algebra. So it says 278 is the same as 200 plus a blank, which we'll call x, plus 8. To find out the value of x, you need to cancel parts of the equation out. So if we minus 8 to get rid of the 8, that means we do the same to the other side. If we then minus 200, and we do the same to the other side. That means that the 8 is cancelled out, the 200 is cancelled out, and so we are left with 70 on this side equals x. So therefore our missing number must be 70. It doesn't matter which way you do it, it will give you the same answer. This question says, what is the greatest number you can make out of 3, 4, 7? These here are digit cards. They are the digits that um, you are going to use in order to make the greatest number. It doesn't mean add them, it just means that you have these three numbers available, these three digits that you are then going to make into a number. If you have three digits, you can therefore make a three-digit number. So we will expect to have hundreds, we'll expect to have tens, and we'll expect to have units. What you need to work out is which one would go in which column in order to make the greatest number. Therefore, the greatest value in this case is the 7, which should go in the hundreds column to make sure that the number is the greatest we can get. The next greatest value is the 4, that would go in the tens, and then the least value out of them would go in the units column. So the greatest number we could possibly make is 740. Three. This place value question asks you how many tens are in 246. It's not asking you the value of the tens column, it's actually asking you how many tens go into that number. Therefore you need to use your times table knowledge. We're looking at tens, now we know that 10 times 10 makes 100. We have 200 in this number, so therefore we need another 10 times 10, which would then give us the 200. 10 times 4 is 40, and that would therefore give us the 240 that is required. Now we know that 6, no 10s will ever make 6, they are made up of units, so therefore the number of tens that are in 246 are the 10 here, another lot of 10, 
and 4, so there are actually 24 tens in the number 246.